NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to explain about steady state error calculations. This topic is very much important for GATE, IES, and other government engineering examinations. If you refer the old GATE, IES, and other government examination questions, such as TNEB Assistant Engineering examination questions, you may see the many questions from the steady state error concepts. So, when you are going to write and combat examinations, you should prepare these steady state error concepts completely. In this video, I will give the full details of steady state error calculations. Uh, in this video, first I am going to discuss about what is steady state error. Then I will discuss general formula and derivation for steady state error. Okay. Third, I will explain uh, exam approach. How to calculate the steady state error uh, for the given questions uh, in the exam point of view. Because in the exam, the time consumption is very much uh, important one. So you, you have to solve the questions uh, very quick time period. So the exam approach, uh, by the exam approach, you can solve the steady state error questions uh, within a quick time period. Fourth one, uh, I, I will solve the old combat exam questions gate and IES exam questions it will be a standard one so we will take uh, the gate IES and other government examination questions uh, in this area finally uh, I will show some questions I already asked the questions in the government examinations uh, just you have to try okay uh, if you listen the if you watch the full concepts uh, definitely you can solve any type of questions uh, from this statistical calculations Okay, now we will discuss uh, what is steady state error. Uh, from the name itself, we can say uh, error when the response reaches steady state, that is called a steady state error. Let us take a system, closed loop system. Uh, closed loop system is a closed loop system because the output is feedback with the input. Okay, so this is a closed loop system. Here, where R of T is set point input, Y of T is output. Okay, G is a feed forward component, H is feedback component. Okay, when I change the step input R of T, the output may be uh, changes like this, or output may be uh, uh, this one, or maybe output may be a yeah, damping response. Okay, uh, it depends upon the system nature. Uh, here, error means this is the error. This signal is error signals. Uh, the difference between the set point as well as the output. The error value is depends upon the output with respect to time. Okay. The output output changes with respect to time. So the error also changes with respect to time. Okay. So uh, uh, the error is constant when the output is constant. When the response reaches steady state, that error is steady state error. Okay. So uh, mathematically, we may define the steady state error is equal to limit t tends to infinite E of t. E of t means error. Why here uh, limit t tends to infinity? What is mean that limit t tends to infinity means definitely we can say that when time tends to infinite, the response will be a steady state. Okay, so uh, it the representation defines error when the response reaches steady state. Okay, the limit t tends to infinite defines the response reaches steady state. Okay, for the final value theorem, uh, limit t tends to infinity e of t is equal to limit s tends to zero s in the e of s. Here e of s means uh, Laplace transform of e of t. Okay, error with respect time. Here s domain Laplace domain. Okay, uh, this is the steady state error concepts. Okay, this is this is the answers for this what is steady state error now i am going to explain about general formula for the steady state error calculations the general formula for a steady state error is uh, ess ess means steady state error steady state error is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into e of s is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into r of s divided by 1 plus j of s into h of s this is the general formula for steady state error where EFS is equal to R of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S. 
okay just remember this formula when you are going to write an examination okay um, now we will how to derive okay here uh, by the closed loop system uh, r of t is the input r of s is the laplace transform of the input signal uh, e of s means the laplace transform of the error signal y of s is the laplace transform of the output signal okay uh, here this is the trans function trans function of the feedback component h of s uh, trans function means output by input this is output this is input so uh, we may write the output of the feedback command as uh, trans function of the command into input okay uh, so is y of s into h of s okay how is there y of s in h of s the h of s is trans function of this fit system uh, y of s is the input to the component this is output output by input is equal to h of s so output is equal to h of s into input okay okay so e of s is equal to uh, this difference between the two signals r of s minus y of s and h of s okay if the feedback is unity feedback we may write the error e of s is equal to r of s minus y of s but here feedback command is present so error e of s equal to r of s minus y of s and h of s h of s is matter let us take this equation as 1. We may write the output yfs is equal to efs into gfs because gfs is equal to output by input yfs by efs. Okay, so we may write yfs is equal to efs into gfs. Uh, yfs is equal to efs into gfs. This is 11. Let, let me take this equation as 2. Substitute equation 2 in 1. So efs is equal to r of s minus. Uh, EFS and GFS and HFS. Okay. Simply by this equation, uh, we can get EFS is equal to RFS divided by 1 plus GFS in HFS. Okay. Uh, this is the proof. This is the derivation for the uh, steady state error formula. Okay. Now we will discuss uh, exam approach. Uh, if the input is unit step input, in the steady state error ESS, steady state error is equal to 1 by 1 plus KP. Kp means position error constant. Kp is equal to limit distance to 0, GFS, HFS. If the question is asked in the examinations uh, to calculate the steady state error for unit step input, just use this formula. Okay. Uh, if the input is ramp input, steady state error ESS is equal to 1 by Kv. Kv means velocity error constant. Kv is equal to limit distance to 0, S into GFS and HFS. Yes. The difference between the position error constant and the velocity error constant is this S. Okay. If the input is uh, parabola input, we need parabola input, the steady state error ESS is equal to 1 by KA. KA means acceleration error constant. KA is equal to limit distance is 0, S squared into JFS into HFS. Okay. Here is S in the for velocity error constant, S into JFS HFS. For acceleration error constant, S is squared into JFS HFS. Okay, that is the difference. How is there this formula? It is derived from the general formula. We know that general formula E S S is equal to limit S tends to 0. E S into R of S will be 1 plus J S H of S. For unit step input, uh, R of T is equal to 1. If you take the Laplace for the signals, R of S is equal to 1 by S. Substitute, substitute in this equation, E S S is equal to uh, yes, 1 by S will be cancelled, so you will get, so we can get the answer as 1 by 1 plus JFS and HFS. Okay, so uh, limit 1 by 1 plus limit distance is 0, JFS and HFS, this is KP, position error constant. So ESS is equal to 1 by 1 plus KP. Okay, if the input is ramp input, R of T is equal to T. Then Laplace transform of the signal R of S is 1 by S square. Substitute, substitute here E S S equal to uh, S into 1 by S square. We will get the answers 1 by S. So 1 by S into 1 plus JFS HFS. So simply with this equation, uh, we will get uh, limit distance is 0, 1 by S into S plus JFS HFS. Substitute S equal to 0. This will be the this time will be 0. So we can get the answer as one by limit s tends to zero s in JFS HFS. This is KV last error constant. So E S S is equal to one by KV. For unit parabola input, similarly, uh, R of T is equal to T square. 
for uh, parabolic input is a parabolic curve so t squared oh, r of s laplace terms of this signal is 1 by s cube substitute in this equation uh, you will get 1 by s squared so 1 by s squared into 1 plus javascript h of s oh, simply with this equation uh, you will get uh, 1 by s squared into s squared plus javascript h of s uh, apply s equal to 0 so we get 1 by limit s not 0 s is equal to jvs hfs plus s squared value when we substitute s equal to 0 in this s squared it becomes 0 okay so this is equal to acceleration error constant so e s s is equal to k if if our objective is to find steady state output steady state output means y s s steady state output limit s not 0 s into y of s output this is not this is not error this is the output okay so we may write yfs as gfs into hfs because gfs is equal to output by input yfs by rfs so we may write yfs is equal to gfs into rfs okay we know that transformation of the system gfs and the input just, just apply these values we will get the steady state output if our objective is to find the steady state output use this formula uh, if our objective is to find the steady state error just use the exam approach okay this is the concepts for the exam approach concepts now we will discuss some previous year questions uh, this question is asked in gate ec department 2014 examination uh, our objective is to find the steady state error value the input is unit step input okay here uh, here this Two blocks are in series so gfs is the multiplication of the signals so gfs is equal to 4 by s plus 2 hfs this is the feedback command hfs is equal to 2 by s plus 4 okay for the unit step input the steady state error value is 1 by 1 plus kp by the exam approach so kp is the position error constant limit s times to 0 gfs and hfs we know that gfs and hfs value just to substitute find the kp value kp is equal to limit s times 0 gfs value 4 by s plus 2 hfs value 2 by s plus 4 apply s equal to 0 we will get uh, kp is equal to 1 substitute this kp value in steady state error equation uh, we will get the steady state error value as 0.5 this is the answer very easiest okay the second question this question is asked in indian engineering series examination 2019 very recent questions okay our objective is to find the value of gain k here the close to transformation is given gfs is given hfs is given unity feedback so hfs is 1 and the ramp error steady state error value is 0 0.1 ramp input is given okay so steady state error for the ramp input signal is ess is equal to kv last error constant kv is equal to limit distance to 0 s into gfs hfs okay uh, substitute the gfs and hfs values so kv is equal to limit distance 0 s into gfs value k by s into s plus 2 hfs value is unity 1 so substitute s equal to 0 in this equation we will get kv is equal to k by 2 because s s cancelled when we substitute s equal to 0 we will get 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 we will get the answer as k by 2 finally okay kv is equal to k by 2 now substitute in the steady state error equation so steady state error es is equal to 1 by kv so 1 by k by 2 you will get 2 by k okay the steady error value is given 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.1 so uh, from this equation k value uh, is equal to 2 by 0 0.1 is equal to 20 answer is 20 this question answer answer also very easiest okay now this is for two year yourself your area the first question is this question as asked in Indian engineering, Indian engineering service examination 2018. The second question asked in Tamil Nadu Electricity Board examination 2018 in electrical section. Okay. Third question. This question asked in Tamil Nadu Electricity Board Australian examination 2018 instrumentation department. But the third question objective is to find the steady state value, not error. But the question one and two objective is to find the steady state e error value here steady state error value is given we got to find the k value here directly we got to find the steady state error in the fourth question our objective is to find the steady state error okay this, this question has been k 2018 okay 
if you feel any difficulty in this question just comment if you find the answer and also comment this comment your answers okay thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share